Hi, I'm Jeff Williams, and I'm the Director of Public Works here at Fort Riley, Kansas. I'm responsible for all the facilities and the quality of life that goes in, in all of them. Today, we're here in front of one of our barracks, and we're going to show you what we do uh, before soldiers move in. And here is Steve. He's our housing chief of housing for Fort Riley, and he's going to kind of uh, help you go through what to expect when you get here. Steve? Thanks, Jeff. Again, as Jeff stated, my name is Steve Milton. I am the Army Chief of Housing here at Fort Riley. So I oversee the barracks program, the hotel program, and the on-post housing program. And as Jeff also mentioned, that quality of life here at Fort Riley, regardless if it's for families or whoever, uh, is important to us. And right now, we're standing in front of the Cab Complex barracks, and we're here to talk about and, we're, uh, and, and address the quality of life and what it takes to prepare a room for our service members, and this is particular service group is our single soldier population. So with that, we're gonna walk inside and meet a couple folks who are gonna walk us through what they do at the leader level to make sure a room meets those quality of life standards. Let's go. So welcome back. As I mentioned before, we're out inside the barrack itself that we were outside previously, and I've got two fine young Americans here today. With me here is Sergeant First Class Rakowski and Staff Sergeant Vargas, and these are two subject matter experts that are gonna walk us through what it takes to prepare a room for a service member to ensure that it meets that life, health, and safety, safety standards that we mentioned earlier. Sergeant Rakowski, Sergeant Vargas, this is your ball. Good morning, again, I'm Sergeant First Class Rakowski. I'm gonna introduce you to the Annex B, going through these rooms to show the, the health and, and safety standards. And I'm Staff Sergeant Vargas for 2nd Brigade, and we're gonna show you and the leaders that you work with how to ensure that your soldiers are living safely and correctly in their rooms. As soon as we walk in, there's three main things we wanna look at immediately. First, the walls, general cleanliness, uh, make sure there's no holes, and we'll go, walk around, painted, like again, no holes. And as we, as we walk around, we'll see these vents. Vents are a, a big hot spot for the possibility of biological growth. We've got a little bit of dust as soldiers move out. These will all be cleaned uh, to, prevent, to prevent any kind of growth. As we continue along, another vent over here, and then we look up, and we have we have a we have smoke detectors and a fire suppression system, which, if tampered with, will result in UCMJ action. So make sure your soldiers know that, that they uh, they will not be be uh, messed with. So I'm Vargas. So I'm going to talk to you today about anything that has a seal, caulking, or a filter with it. First and foremost, as soon as you walk through the door, you'll see that there's a seal on the actual door itself. You need to make sure that this seal is intact and does not have holes or rips in it uh, to ensure that the HVAC system is circulating air properly. We're going to move on to the fridge, and first thing you want to do is open up the freezer. You'll see that there's another seal on the freezer, and there's going to be some red flags, some telltale signs that will tell you that something is wrong with your freezer. First, you're gonna look and make sure that there's no frost buildup or any moisture buildup around the freezer, because if so, that means that your seal is not working. Another thing you wanna do is lightly pull on the seal, not too hard that you remove the seal, but just to check that it's actually snug and, and fits well to the actual door. Uh, again, when you're looking at the seal, you wanna look inside the seal and make sure that it's free of dust, dirt, uh, and anything that has gotten in there. If you see anything that could possibly be biological growth, well, ensure that it's cleaned first and then we'll uh, properly inspect it to make sure that that is not any biological growth on the seal. Every fridge should have this on it. It says keep the freezer on medium and the refrigerator must stay on max. So ensure that back here in the back of the freezer that it stays on medium uh, and then in the fridge that the fridge is on the max setting. And on the fridge, you'll have another seal on the door like this and lightly tug on the seal and make sure that there's no moisture buildup uh, around the door or the seal itself. Check it for cleanliness, make sure it's fitting properly and then make sure that it doesn't have any uh, possible biological growth on that door. You're gonna wanna move up to the microwave that's fixed to the fridge. 
That's the key word, fixed. Make sure that it's actually fixed to the refrigerator so it doesn't fall on anybody. After that, you're gonna to wanna to open the microwave, make sure that your seal on this door is intact, no uh, rips, tears, or dents, or damages on the actual seal to ensure that the heating element, uh, that nothing goes wrong with the heating element and that it's it clean inside and that it's working properly. Another thing uh, to mention about the fridge is you wanna make sure that there's no uh, too much clutter around the fridge. There's a fan and a filter on the back of the fridge that commonly gets clogged. So you're gonna wanna pull out this fridge away from the wall while keeping it plugged in to ensure that the fan is still circulating and that the filter is clear of any uh, dust or debris that, that gets uh, caught in the filter that could cause this to stop working. Next, moving on to the sink. The sink is a very, very common place to get any biological growth because of the water that passes through it. First thing you wanna do is on top, make sure, check around the faucet that there's proper caulking on the faucet. There's no cracks, there's no missing caulking. If so, it needs to be recaulked uh, to ensure that moisture does not escape. Next, after that, you wanna turn on the water and make sure you check underneath the cabinets and you wanna check your P-trap to make sure that there's nothing leaking and here on the floor, you wanna make sure that it's clear and clean because this is a very, very common place to have some biological growth. Next, moving on to another safety feature, which is the GFCI outlets that will be around any source of water. There's one here underneath the stove and there's a regular outlet that's by the, by the sink. If any water gets any in that system or circuit, the GFCI will engage and shut off all power to ensure that nothing goes wrong. To test this system, hit the test button it should click and then just hit the reset button and make sure it goes back in to properly, uh, to make sure the GFCI is working properly. Here's the stove top. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that both features work for your soldier as they're moving out and uh, moving in. Underneath your stove, uh, you'll have a range hood and there should be a filter that is, it's metallic and you wanna make sure the filter is in place, it's not dirty um, and it's not ripped or anything that needs to be repaired. You wanna ensure that your light is working properly and you're gonna to wanna to look in your cabinets to make sure that uh, the doors are fixed to the cabinet properly and that your actual cabinet shelves are fixed to the cabinet itself properly and do not fall on somebody uh, in the likely or unlikely event that something goes wrong. Moving on, we have a vanity sink. So I, just to reiterate what Sergeant Vargas covered, we wanna try the water running, check the P-trap un underneath. The baseboard to make sure that there's there's no uh, biological growth, the caulking around the sink, and the actual tap itself. Make sure it's free and clear. A uh, common thing when clearing soldiers, we forget to check for dust on top of the lights. The general cleanliness will uh, will help that out. Moving into the, the bathroom itself, more caulking around the shower. This is, this is housekeeping responsibilities. So if we have any, any darkness around the caulking, that can come out with a little bit of soldier scrubbing. We wanna check for caulking around all the fixtures, make sure it's clean and present. We wanna turn the water on. It works. After the shower, we wanna wipe down the entire shower to prevent um, mildew, leave the vents on. This vent isn't working. We have a work order in Arma. And once it's dried off, we wanna close the, the shower curtain to allow the curtain itself to dry. We wanna make sure that we are clean. The floors are clean, especially behind the toilets. There's caulking on the bottom of the shower fixture as well. Toilets are clean and operational. And the light, the light also works. Leave the door open so that ventilation can come from the entire room. And there's your bathroom. So when looking at your soldier's bedroom, there could be a few factors that might come into play. One, there might be a lot of things on the wall or it might be dirty. Don't let any of those things distract you. You want to focus on the main areas which I'm about to discuss. So first, when you come in the room, you're going to want to check the walls to make sure that there's no, no holes in the wall and that the door has the proper seal on it. 
Uh, again, like mentioned before, there are safety features in the room like the fire suppression system and the smoke detector. One of the main important things about these rooms is the window itself. So when looking at your soldier's window, you want to make sure that one, it's actually closed and it closes and locks properly. Especially in the summer, uh, if you keep the window open, moisture will get drawn into the building and that will trigger the HVAC system to overwork itself and the HVAC systems will go down. To check the window, you want to walk up to the window, open it, and make sure it opens properly, close it, and again, check for seals and any caulking. You'll see down here on the bottom, there's a line of caulking on the window. On the window itself, there will, there will be other uh, caulking and different uh, types of seals on the window. You want to make sure that that's clean. Additionally, with looking at your windows, you want to check your blinds and make sure that they're clean, that they're clear of any debris or dust or any moisture. All right, so we're going to touch on the vents one more time. If you look up here on the wall, on the left, there's an outtake vent. It takes all of the hot air and draws it in, and then it pumps cold air through the vent on the right side. You want to make sure that these vents are clear of any dust, debris, uh, or any moisture. Your soldier's closet is just as important as their room. Again, you'll see a fire suppression system on the, the ceiling that you want to make sure that it's not tampered with. Other than that, you just want to make sure that the room is clear and free just in case they need to get uh, in here and that there's no hazards blocking the doors. So on this wall, there's a QR code. You might be asking yourself, what if my soldier finds something wrong with this room or with this building? Or what if I find something wrong with this room or building while inspecting it? Sergeant Rakowski is going to explain exactly what is on this door. So while going through the bathroom, I mentioned ARMA for the vent. So ARMA is the Army Maintenance Application. We have a QR code for registering. Everyone that lives in the barracks, everyone that comes into the barracks, in fact, every soldier when they, when they in process your unit should register for ARMA. They can, that's how you get work orders for your work, your workplace and more um, specifically here for the barracks. We have a QR code for registering and submitting work orders. So soldiers just scan that, say what room they're in, what's wrong with their room, and boom, we get, we get someone out to fix it. Um, and more information, we have another QR code will take you to, to our homepage right here on Fort Riley. So if you have questions, you can find out who's responsible for, for fixing or not fixing the room. We can find that out. But ARMA, everyone's registered, they, and it's just that easy. We can get it fixed for, for the soldier. With all this being said, we are stewards of our soldiers. We owe it to them and their families to take care of them the best we can. So with everything you've learned today, make sure you apply it to your unit and your soldiers.